Hello everyone and welcome to the weekend vlog. It is Friday, thank God. Excuse the way I look. Um, I just got back from working out um, and I swam and I did my weights so my hair is a little bit wet and whatnot. Um, but anyway, it is the weekend and I am so, so, so happy that it is. It is Labor Day weekend and this weekend is going to be extremely chill. I don't really have a lot planned with the exception of um, I'm going to go out to eat, obviously, with probably my mom on Saturday. Still trying to figure out plants and stuff like that. She wanted to go to Heckrod to go walking tonight. I can't. I'm literally exhausted. Oh, my battery is about to die too. But anyway, um, I'm so, so tired and I just don't want to. Um, I just need to relax right now. And then on Monday, we're going to be going to the parade. So that will be fun. Um, but other than that, filming wise, I have to film my candle empties. I noticed that all of a sudden I have some candle empties here that I need to get done. But you guys probably saw a ton of candle reviews this week. I do apologize for that. Some people like the candle reviews and some people like watching me kind of talk and do hauls and all that kind of stuff. But in order for me to get my candle empties up, I have to get my candle reviews first. Um, I like to do the candle reviews and then kind of all tie it together with the empties and then I throw the candles away um, that I've used. So that's pretty much all. I do have some ideas too about different types of videos that I want to record this weekend. Uh, one being possible gastric bypass surgery. Um, I just have some opinions on that that I wanted to kind of get out. Um, also some Instagram weight loss issues that I've kind of run into on Instagram. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on that as well or doing one video and kind of tying um, that all together. But anyway, um, I just used this stuff on Snooky Louise. It is called the Tropical or Tropic Clean Fresh Breath. Have you guys used this stuff on your dogs at all? That is what this stuff looks like here. I don't know if my camera uh, focuses this way. But anyway, um, basically, I noticed recently, well, obviously, you guys... Whoever watches my vlogs knows that Snooki's tooth and teeth have been falling out on the bottom. She has one kind of straggly tooth right in the middle. That's it. Um, I was looking at her teeth the other day and her gums. Her gums look great, but her, you know, teeth way back here, there's so much plaque. And I know my, her, or Snooki's groomer did point this out to me a while ago. And that is when she suggested getting this stuff because Snooki's breath is really bad too. And I did use this stuff for a while and Snooki hates it. Basically, it's a gel. I put it on my finger. I stick it like, in the back of her mouth and it kind of it foams up a tiny little bit but then after that um it's supposed to freshen the breath and it literally is supposed to take the plaque and just get it right off but you have to use it for a while um you know to see results so i think i'm gonna try this for three weeks if i don't see a difference in her back teeth um it's really important, you guys, to check your dog's teeth because it can lead to other problems if they do have really bad teeth, and I'm going to give this three weeks, and if I don't see a difference, I think I'm going to have to call the vet, and I think we're going to have to get her in and unfortunately get her put under for a teeth check and teeth cleaning and possibly pulling teeth. Oh, my poor baby, you guys, I feel horrible. Um, anytime, you know, dogs go underneath... Um, any type of anesthesia, it's, you know, a problem because it's risky. And to only do it for teeth, it's risky as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go watch Big Brother UK right now and I'll check in a little bit later on. Hey guys and happy Saturday. Um, it is like 8 o'clock and I got up, got ready, got dressed and I have a lot to do today. I have a lot of like little errandy stuff to do today. I want to try the pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. I need to go to the bank to get some quarters for laundry. I can't stand not having units, um, you know, washer, dryer, 
within my unit, like in my apartment, I can't stand it that I have to like actually pay for it. But at least they have washer and dryers, um, you know, like in the common areas here that I don't have to actually go to the laundry mat like some people because that would really suck. Um, and then I need to go to the library to return some magazines. And what else do I need to do? What else was there? I need to make YouTube videos today and then my mom and I are gonna be going out for lunch later on. Um, there's this new place in Appleton and I can't remember the name of it, but they only make grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, they were on one of the TV shows too. I can't remember which one, like their franchise was. Um, I'll have to look it up and tell you guys later, but I'm really excited for that, and I'm going to get my pumpkin spice latte. I'm excited for that. I weighed myself this morning. You guys will see, um, well, you probably already saw in the Shake It Off with Angela that I, on Monday, if you watch, that I only lost one fucking ounce this week. One ounce. But, I mean, at least I didn't gain um, and not only that, but this week has been in the upper 80s with 100% humidity. So I'm almost positive that my body is holding water. Um, you know, I tried drinking as much water as I possibly could this week. Um, you know, so whatever. Oh, and I'm going to go to the farm stand right now. I want to stock up on my zucchini and onions and green peppers. Um, I want to buy some freezer bags and then I'm actually going to chop the onions up. Oh, there's the sun in your eyes, baby. I'm so sorry. Oh, Anyway, um, I'm actually going to be chopping the onions up and putting them in freezer bags and freezing them. So I have them for a long time. Um, so yeah, let's go do all that. Thanks for stopping by Starbucks. My name is Caitlin. What can we get for you? Yes, I have one of those coupons for a pumpkin spice latte. Okay. Um, but can I get it iced? And then I need um the grande size, please. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Five twenty. Thank you. Thanks. Okay guys, so I got my pumpkin spice latte. I didn't get it um, hot, I got it iced because it's pushing 85 degrees here today, but oh yes, it is definitely fall, even with the warm temperatures. I love this. Okay guys, so I'm just headed home right now, but I think what I'm gonna do is go home and get the vegetables inside of the house and then um, I also forgot that I need to stop at the P.O. box because I haven't checked that in a while. And um, what else is I going to say? Oh, I'm going to drop Snooky Louise off at home too because I need to like go to the library and do all that kind of stuff. And I don't want to leave her in the car because it is so hot. But I did want to get her out sometime today. So, Snooks, what you doing? So yeah, so we're going to go home now and then more errands. So I forgot to tell you guys also, oh my God, my hair looks like it's fried. Um, anyway, I got my results back for my vitamin D test that I had done um, on Friday. And I think the normal range is like 30, like the lowest you can get within normal range is 30 up to whatever. 
and I was only at a 32, you guys, after taking 50,000 units of vitamin D and getting outside and that it's the summer and I take a multivitamin, which has vitamin D in it, and I also take vitamin D um, capsules extra every day. So I don't know what the doctor is going to do. I don't understand my vitamin D. Um, I think this has something to do though with my thyroid. I wanna say that um, the thyroid, something with the thyroid and the absorption of vitamin D. And I know when you get older too, um, you know, your body doesn't intake the vitamin D well and yeah, and lack of vitamin D can cause depression. Um, I believe it can cause anxiety, but I'm not real sure. But I know depression for sure. It can cause um, you to be lethargic, low energy, um, kind of all correlates with that thyroid. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys about the blood work. Oh, I forgot the farmer's market is today, you guys. It is so busy. Oh, and the library is like right next to it, of course. Oh well, let's see what we can do here. We just have to run in real quick and return these bugs. God, you guys when I was in the bread store by the way I met great harvest bread company I left the window a little bit open and there were two bees in my van so I had to get them out but anyway I got two of the honey whole wheat breads um, these breads are completely organic I what I do is I freeze both of the loaves and I just take them out um, when I need them but it's basically the only bread that I will put in my body and I love it so if you guys are by a great harvest store I highly suggest checking them out. Okay, post off is done. Now we are going home. Okay, you guys, I remember the name of that restaurant that my mom and I are going to. It's called Tom and Chi. So if you guys have one of those restaurants, or I guess it's not really a restaurant. I don't know. I heard it's kind of like in between fast food and restaurant where you go in, kind of like Chipotle, you go in and you order and then you sit down um, and then they bring your food to you. But anyway, I'm going to go there today with my mom and get some food. Right now I have to shave my legs because I just noticed that they were hairy and I spent all morning long running errands, going places, doing things with gorilla legs and I do apologize if anybody saw that but it is what it is. By the way you guys, okay so I'm going to tell you what I was doing last night and it is kind of weird and I just tweeted about it but I was looking on Instagram underneath Wisconsin Coyote because more and more and more coyotes are being um, seen here in my city. And I did find some different cities that had them, not a lot, not as much, I guess, hype as what our city is having right now in Wisconsin. Um, it's like a big thing, like we're finding, seeing, and hearing coyotes everywhere in our city. It's like major. I don't know if there's a huge population of wildlife because we had a mild winter and a really, really good summer. But I mean, we do have a lot of rabbits and squirrels here, more so than I've seen in the years. So I don't know if they're just coming here because of that. But anyway, last night I was sitting in my living room and like I said, I'm basically like... I'm on the outskirts of my city, so you go like a block that way and you will get farms and barns and chickens and cows and horses. You go like a mile that way and you're totally in the city. 
So anyway, I was sitting in my living room just minding my own business. I was on my phone. I, I had the TV off, so it was completely quiet. And all of a sudden, like, I heard in the far, far distance what sounded like dogs barking and howling. And I thought, oh, it's probably just the neighbor dogs. But then I was listening and I thought, no, it's not because I would hear them more. And I thought, okay, well, it could be just dogs for further away in the distance. So I'm like, whatever. So then I'm like, okay, well, this is like going on and on and on. Like I would hear it for like a minute and then it would completely stop for like, 10 minutes and then I'd hear it again for a minute and I'm like, what is going on? So I went on my phone and I searched up different coyote sounds and I found like different recordings of coyote sounds within Wisconsin because I'm sure like coyotes here and coyotes maybe like in New York. I don't know if New York has coyotes, but you know what I mean? Like here, like Wisconsin coyotes and New York coyotes, I don't know if they're like different or if they're like the same because we're kind of in the North Woods or whatever. Anyway, so I did Wisconsin search on coyotes and I came up with all these video clips like of them howling, of them cackling, of them fighting. So I got this really good one of them barking and howling. So I turned my volume up all the way on my phone. I put it on and I put it like to the window and all of a sudden, like there was nothing. It was like, you know, a section of time where I didn't hear anything. So I did that, put it up to my window. Literally 30 minutes later, they 30 seconds, not 30 minutes later, all started howling. So I know that they're out there. I don't know. There's like a big controversy right now. Like, I guess we're all meeting or we're supposed to meet. We're having a meeting in City Hall about all these coyotes. And, you know, when I first heard about the coyotes, I thought to myself, oh, my God, this is completely scary. You know, like they're going to attack. They're coming out during the day which really they're coming out at night and they're coming out like at four o'clock in the morning is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, people are getting concerned about their kids and their animals and all this kind of stuff. But in reality, they were here first. Like I thought about this because like at first I was upset and I was scared and I was like, okay, somebody needs to go out there and hunt them and kill them and get rid of them and let's like move on. But then I thought to myself, no, number one, they were here first. Number two, like, the the open areas here in the country are being built up by houses and different businesses so they're kind of pushing them towards the city so they really don't have anywhere else to go and so that's number two and number three they haven't attacked anybody yet they haven't gotten anybody's cats or dogs or whatever as far as i know i've been doing different you know readings on facebook and different articles in the newspaper and listening to the radio and stuff like that and i haven't really heard well i haven't i have not heard of any coyotes um attacking any children, any people, any animals, anything like that. So if they're not hurting anybody, why hunt them? Why? I mean, I guess I could see possibly relocating them, but where are you going to relocate them when within how many years, I mean, how much open land is there going to be left? Do you guys know what I'm saying? I'm not really like, you know, a DNR earthy kind of gal, but I will say this. I am like going to start something like leave the coyotes alone. Hashtag leave the coyotes alone because coyotes are beautiful, beautiful creatures. Just like I said, wolves are. I did see a coyote when my daughter was, it, she was either a freshman or a sophomore, my oldest daughter. So my oldest daughter is 24 now when she was either a sophomore or I think she was a sophomore in high school. So I don't know how many years ago that is, whatever. Um, I was watching for her to come home. It was late at night. It was like one o'clock in the morning and we have a strobe, not a strobe light, but you know, like one of those motion detector lights. Um, and I was, you know, like on my couch looking out the window and sure as shit, I see a very young coyote coming down, hunting within like our bushes and stuff, trying to find something. I don't know, but it was late at night. And it was the first time that I saw a coyote um, like very close to me because like I was sitting there and they were like literally feet away. It was the most exhilarating, most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My dream is to see a bear in the wild, but like far enough away so like it won't attack me and um, a wolf in the wild. I think that would be awesome. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go shave my legs so I don't look like a hairy beast anymore. And then I'm going to go out to eat with my mom and you guys... 
I'm kind of full from that pumpkin spice latte. It's kind of sitting like right here. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go do that and I'll catch up with you guys later. Who is the monkey now? Who is the monkey? Are you the monkey? Where's your hair? What's going on with your hair? Oh, gosh. you guys so we are done eating that was so good um i highly suggest if you guys have one of those in your area go and i got the blt it was fabulous <coughs> a little bit on the greasy side like my hands still feel a little greasy but so good and they have this donut it's like a grilled cheese donut i mean i didn't get it um but like it looked fabulous but yeah that would be a whole separate meal in itself so right now my mom is in this shoe store called runaway shoes once again i'm waiting in the car i thought i'd vlog um and now we are um headed to target oh my god my hair sorry you guys we're headed to target because um i kind of want to look st or start looking for um holiday themed candy for fall just because of the fact that I usually make a video with my daughter, um, like trying out new stuff. I know M&M's has two new flavors. I think one is pecan pie and the other one, shoot. I can't remember the other one, but um, I'll look it up before I go in. And we'll just see if they have any new foods. I don't want to do anything that I did last year. Um, they had like, you know, the peeps and all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to get off the wall stuff and Target is definitely the place to go to get that kind of stuff. So off to Target I go after Mother finds me. guys so it's after dinner I didn't eat any dinner because I'm really not hungry and my mom is gonna be picking me up for ice cream you guys I feel like because the medication because of the medication that I'm on for um, my hormones and stuff I don't get my period 
and I feel like I'm going through the symptoms of getting my period, like I'm having major cravings and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go to Culver's and I'm just going to get a small sundae um, and then it's going to be over. And then my, my cheat meal turned into a cheat day and my cheat day is going to be over after the sundae. And then it's over and whatever. Then I'm going to come home and um, I still have to exercise for 30 minutes today, which I am going to do. I want to stick to that. Um, I did record the last segment of my Shake It Off with Angela series, so that is all done. I'm very hot. Um, it's like almost 90 degrees still outside. It's like 6 o'clock. Very warm. Um, and I noticed, too, that my skin has been super oily today. It doesn't probably help that I'm like constantly touching my face, but um, even before my face was really oily. So I'm probably going to take a really nice hot shower tonight, clean my face, um, do a mask maybe um, all after I have my Sunday because I need it. You guys, Starbucks um, also, okay, so rubber child, Rubber Child posted this really awesome Starbucks tumbler. It's like iridescent purple and blue combined. And he, well, she said that she really wanted it. And now, like, I don't know if it's because I really do think it's cool or if it's because she really wanted it that I want it too. Do you guys have that? Like, sometimes, like, Somebody, you know, there'll be like a hype and someone will say, oh my God, I really want this. And then other people are like, oh my God, we have to have this. And then all of a sudden you find yourself saying, oh my God, I really want it. I mean, it is a cool tumbler and I think I really want it, but it's like $26. I looked online. It's not online. So um, I'm going to check in my store and see. <sighs> but anyway, so right now I am going to... uh Get ready to go with my mom. I think I'm going to take Snooki too. I'm going to put her in the back seat though, but just so she can get out of the house. And um, my mom's car has air, so she should be good to go. Maybe I will hear the coyotes tonight too. I really want to see one, you guys. No JK. Hey guys, so we are just walking along a trail here and Snooky just stepped on a picker. It was really bad. Poor thing. I think she's fine though because she's walking okay. But anyway, we just decided to go for a little stroll after our ice cream because it was crazy. And I think my camera is fogging up because it's so fucking hot.
get down to you and me uptown dancing all around till the disco ball pops but i have to be me and everyone can see your anger is misplaced 